to the Medical Terminology Podcast. This episode is Chapter 14, Part 5, Female Procedures. This episode is going to be rather short. There aren't too many general female procedures. However, we will encounter more procedures in the next episode, which will be about pregnancy and childbirth. The first procedure I have for you now is colposcopy, C-O-L-P-O-S-C-O-P-Y. Colposcopy is the direct visual examination of the cervix and the vagina, and this is done using a special instrument called a coposcope. The next term is hysteroscopy, H-Y-S-T-E-R-O-S-C-O-P-Y. And based on its word parts, what would you imagine that term means? Well, hystero refers to the uterus, and this would be the direct visual examination of the interior of the uterus and the fallopian tubes using an endoscope. Next, we have Hysterosalpingography. Quite a mouthful. Hysterosalpingography. H Y S T E R O S A L P I N G O G R A P H Y. We have the word parts hystero, salpingo, and graphy. A term that ends in graphy means it's some kind of recording, oftentimes. It is a radiograph, which is what this term refers to. This is a radiographic examination of the uterus and fallopian tubes. The next term is Papa Nicolaou test. Capital P A P A N I C O L A O U. Papa Nicolaou. The Papa Nicolaou test is an exfoliated biopsy of cells from the cervix for early detection of cancer. It's more commonly referred to as the Pap test or the Pap smear. Now, oftentimes I find that students miss this item on quizzes and tests because the definition seems to throw them off. Remember, a biopsy just means that you're taking a sample of tissue for examination. Exfoliative biopsy means that you are scraping tissue cells away. Exfoliative biopsy of cells from the cervix simply means that they are scraping cells off of the cervix. Usually they use a little paddle or a little brush to do this. So exfoliative biopsy of cells from the cervix is what a pap test is all about. They're collecting cells from the cervix in order to see if they're abnormal or not. If they're abnormal, this is an indication that cervical cancer could be starting to develop. The next term is conization, C-O-N-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. Conization is the surgical removal of a cone-shaped specimen of tissue from the cervix, and this can be performed as a diagnostic test or as a treatment procedure. And the next term is salpingectomy. S-A-L-P-I-N-G-E-C-T-O-M-Y. And based on its word parts, what is a salpingectomy going to be? Well, as long as you remember that salpingo refers to a fallopian tube, this is a removal of a fallopian tube. Again, salpingo is one of those otter word parts that you're going to have to have a handle on. And the next term is a little bit more of a mouthful. It's salpingo oophorectomy. Salpingo oophorectomy. S-A-L-P-I-N-G-O hyphen O-O-P-H-O-R E-C-T-O-M-Y. And again, if you parse it down using the word parts, what is a salpingo oophorectomy going to be?
Well, that's going to be the removal of a fallopian tube. That's the salpingo part. And an ovary. That's the oophorectomy part. Next, we have a myomectomy. M-Y-O-M-E-C-T-O-M-Y. And that one's a little hard to get from the word part. This one is removal of uterine fibroids. And finally, we have dilation and curtage. D-I-L-A-T-I-O-N-A-N-D-C-U-R-E-T-T-A-G-E, commonly abbreviated as a D ampersand C. This is a surgical procedure in which the cervix is dilated and the endometrium of the uterus is scraped away. This can be performed as a diagnostic or treatment procedure. And this term can be a little tricky primarily because of the spelling. Okay, well that's it for the general procedures. Now let's go ahead and do some practice. Number one, what is the term for the procedure for removing uterine fibroids? That's a myomectomy. M-Y-O-M-E-C-T-O-M-Y. What is the term for an exfoliated biopsy of cells from the cervix for the detection of cancer? That's the Papa Nicolaou test. Capital P A P A N I C O L A O U. The direct visual examination of the cervix and the vagina is known as what? That's a colposcopy, C-O-L-P-O-S-C-O-P-Y. The surgical removal of a cone-shaped specimen of tissue from the cervix is known as what? That's conization, C-O-N-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. And what is the term for the removal of a fallopian tube and an ovary? That's a salpingo oophorectomy. S-A-L-P-I-N-G-O hyphen O-O-P-H-O-R E-C-T-O-M-Y. What is the term for a surgical procedure in which the cervix is dilated and the endometrium of the uterus scraped away? That's the dilation and curtage, D-I-L-A-T-I-O-N, the word and, A-N-D, and then curtage, C-U-R-E-T-T-A-G-E. And finally, what is the term for the direct visual examination of the uterus? That's the hysteroscopy. H-Y-S-T-E-R-O-S-C-O-P-Y. Okay, as I said, there aren't too many general procedures here. But we are going to find some more procedures when we go on in the next episode and look at pregnancy and childbirth. This ends this episode of the Medical Terminology 